Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick page using stencils to create figures in our art journal. So I'm starting off with my junk journal and I'm just painting over two pages. Now in junk journals you've got lots of different pages, lots of different weights, lots of stuff on them. So um, I'm painting over both pages to kind of create a more seamless -y type look. My paint is also blocked, so I'm trying to get some of this Sedona paint out with a um, pin, which isn't quite working, so I change tack and use a different colour. So I've started off with some cheddar, or an orangey sort of colour, and now I'm going in with a fuchsia colour. I really love these two colours together. They work well because they're analogous colours, they sit together on the colour wheel. Um, so they sort of blend together nicely, you get these sort of beautiful orangey, purpley, red tones to it. So I'm just drying off this first layer and it looks messy and I can still see bits and pieces through it and that's okay because I know I'm going to be doing some layering. So the first thing I'm doing is layering on some gel prints. Um, these have been done on really thin tissue paper and um, so they sort of blend into the background. I was originally going to try and sort of keep similar colour tones on it but then I changed my mind because of the gel prints I had and the colours I had on it but I thought introducing some of that blue on the page um, could be interesting. Again sort of going back to that colour theory, the blue is kind of an opposite colour to the, the colours on the page and it's I suppose you could almost say it's a triadic colour combination too because if you consider that sort of cheddar colour, more a yellowy colour, um, you sort of got yellow, red, blue on the page. This is one of my favourite new stencils that I have got, I don't think it's actually a new stencil, it's one from Stencil Girl and it's just these random um, circles in different patterns. So what I did was I watered down some gesso to paint over the back. You can do the same with white paint. Just make it a little bit more translucent and paint it over your surface. Now it seems a bit redundant but what this actually does is it um, ties the two pages together. It gives you a, a unifying look to the whole page. So you know I've got all that collage and the colour in the background but I've now got that sort of white pattern happening all over it. Obviously you could stencil across the top if you didn't want to do that redactive sort of stenciling, um, it, it works the same. So the stencils I'm using today are all from Stencil Girl. Um, they are fabulous stencils, I love them dearly. And this f um, stencil is uh, the, the ones that I use the most sorry they're not the ones I use the most but for this sort of thing for doing a focal image I love using face stencils and Stencil Girl have a huge range of face stencils which I absolutely adore so um, I'm just using a clip to clip that down onto the page and one of my favorite things about it is the um, stencils come in different sizes so you can get the sort of larger A4 size or you can get these 6 by 6 ones and I really like um, the 6x6 face stencils because they sort of are just perfect for any size journal. They're just big enough to be a focal image. But you can also add on another 6x6 stencil underneath like I'm doing with these two to create sort of these abstract bodies to your, your pieces. So you don't just have a head floating in the middle of the page that you've actually got a finished body to it. So with both of these um, stencils that I'm using, I'm stenciling in with night paint. So it's a really deep blue colour and I love stenciling using the blue because it's not quite as harsh as doing black. If I'd done black it would be really really overpowering whereas this gives you the sense that you know obviously there's some figures here but it's you know not all you see on the page. So again you can see me going in with the um, the word stencil and sort of just creating that sort of simple body shape down the bottom. You can see I sort of rounded off the shoulders a little bit to catch to attach up to the other um, stencil so you get these two shapes. 
So one of the things that I find is really, really important with any figure that I do, but particularly if you're so stenciling in, is to put the whites of the eyes in. And the reason for that is it just really defines the face and makes it readable as a face. Um, we as humans tend to look for eyes to um, read something as a face. So if you make it really obvious by putting the whites of the eyes and the catchalls, which are those little dots of light in the pupil, um, it's really, really important. Sometimes on some stencils, it can be really, really difficult to kind of work out which bits should be white and which bits should, should be the pupils. You can always stencil it out on a scrap piece of paper and have a go a few times until you're happy with where you've got it. Once you've done it once or twice, you should be pretty comfortable of where you're putting the, um, the whites in, in the eyes. I'm now going in with an um, intense pencil in again in a blue just to add a bit of a shadow around the edges of my shapes to push them out from the background a little bit. Um, I found on the right hand side figure I'd done that the little bit of white around the edge and it was just a little bit too stark so by adding that little bit of blue back in it um, it just sort of blends it back in enough. With um, this page I wanted to add some sort of quote to it as well. So um, I bought myself, um, as you can see, I'm in, well, I'm not in plaster anymore, but I do have a compression bandage on. Um, in January, I um, broke my wrist really severely. Um, I've only just come out of plaster. So um, I've been struggling a little bit and sort of my mental health has been struggling a little bit. And when I struggle I tend to do a lot of art journaling um, I do it for fun I do it for relaxation but I also do it to clear my head and this day um, I just needed to get stuff out and because I can't really write very well at the moment um, a lot of it has come down to me stenciling using color and using pre-printed words to sort of have my message instead of me writing on my pages so that's a long way of saying where these words came from I to encourage myself, bought myself some bracelets and they came in this really cute packaging and um, it had all these really positive messages all over it. So I've cut the boxes up completely and I just love this one. So don't let someone um, else dim your light um, just because it's shining in their eyes, which I really loved. I thought that was just perfect to sort of remind, remind you that, you know, you're important too. So I've chosen, instead of keeping the quote all together, to chop it into the individual words. And for each word, I um, just put a little bit of black ink around it. If you're more <laughs> savvy with your hands than I am at the moment, you could certainly use a black pen to draw around it. But I just dragged my ink pad around it. So this is the final page. It's a fairly simple process to do, just layering up your stencils. But one of the things that... Um, I think sometimes gets overlooked is the fact we can use stencils as a focal point on a page. So to find out any links to um, this stencil girl, um, click on the links below. Sorry, just had a mental blank. And there'll also be a link to a blog post with all these pictures as well. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.